All right. So we're still waiting on Moxfield to come back, although to give you the viewer a better context right. of what's going on. But right now we're just kind of flying blind. All right. All right. So Cody's on a Naya aggro with uh, a little bit of Walker backup. We've got yep. Minsk, Nissa, and Comet. Right, and then Mason is on this four color reanimator slash good stuff. I think so. It, it's like four color because we wanted to vindicate basically. Right. Uh, we we saw Tef in the list. I think uh, Cody's on turn one. Uh, Esper Sentinel, I think. If there's a planes, I'm pretty sure I see Esper Sentinel like dead center in that mm -hmm. hand. So they're both on a mole here. And then he doesn't have a Thari, so I don't know what's between it and the Solitude. Maybe I see an NT potentially. Ah, uh, is that Jetmere's Garden? Jetmere's Garden. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jetmere's Garden. Ooh. Street Race. Please have a land, Mason. <laughs> <laughs> Mason got blown out in match one when he kept a one lander uh, with Thoughtseize yep. and uh, got wastelanded. Yes. <laughs> no sort of that here, but you know. Yep. Well, I th look, okay. If Mason had a land. Uh huh. And then another land. I still think Mason loses to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, you still bow masters on tap wheel. I don't think there was a counter spell on that hand. Right. Yeah. Abrupt decay is his only. You know. Yeah, his only answer. I don't think we'd find him by then. Dress down and question mark. Land, I think. Okay. Built to the yeah. bottom. Doesn't. That was a tomb. Overgrown. Yeah, yeah. overgrown. Uh... Okay, so we're seeing some taxing elements from Cody. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm, oh, all right. Yeah, he's got no no lotus. I there. was pretty sure I saw Esper Sentinel. Yeah, that's yeah, Esper. Right. All right, maybe there was just no. Un okay, there's a Horizon Canopy. Why yeah, I, I just don't think. He, I I think he'd rather have the turn potential turn two something maybe like the Metamorphose draw. I don't know. I mean, I don't see a turn two play unless he top decks it. So. Yeah, I think it's probably a mistake to. I guess if he top decks it, you know, something that gives him a turn to play, then he wants to untap land. Right? I, I I get that. I just didn't think there was anything in here. No, no, I, I I I agree. Right, like, I don't think his cheapest creature is actually a three drop. And his hand, right? But if he tops like an Inti or a Plunderer. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Know, what? The, how does this? Ragavan. How does Moxfield sort this crap? You can change your sort. Oh, it's alphabetical, not by yeah, a So you can go up here to sort. Yep. Name. My yeah. value. Thank All you. Right, yeah. Oh, he kept the Darcy in the main. Okay. Okay. Sorry, my mind. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. We, then we, we had a handful of hits, but I, I don't know. Yeah, so he had a deck hit, though, to do it. Invasion, yeah. right? Like, there were there were hits that, uh, that mattered Sure. for that. So it's just, but with, against Mason's deck, I think the Sentinel would have been more important. Yes. Especially, like, when you know your opponent has at least Thoughtseize, yeah. I would I would have played the Esper Sentinel first to recoup the card. We're gonna troll up here. Do we have the reanimate? Are we scamming? No, no it looks like an archon on the far left. It is. Vindicate and something. Yeah. Nothing that can be played right. off of this land. Can't get that. Swamps only. <laughs> swamp, swamp, swamp. Alright, it looks like that's fix good. Yep, we're just playing a slower game now. Uh, Cody did nothing on turn two. Yeah, Still didn't what is? So Cody beat Jacob. Got it. We didn't play the Esper Sentinel on two. It got taken by the Thought Seize. Oh, the Thought Seize, okay. Yeah. Or the Inquisition. Yeah. So what do we have left in Cody's hand? Oh, the Archon. He's okay. got the Archon. He's got a Metamorphos. We got a... If, if we don't have a third line as Cody, I would assume we have to fire the Monomorphos off. Oh, 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 Yep. We're gonna draw a card. We don't care about the mana. We just want the card. Mm-hmm. Oh, it would have been dirty if Cody drafted Elvish Spirit Guide. <laughs> Did not. There it is. Okay. So we miracle the forest. But he's kind of behind the eight ball. Okay. So Mason has Time Walk, Archon, Reanimate, and JVP, I think. Yeah, the re Reanimate, Reanimate Troll. Yep. Do you just Ooh. Time Walk here? Uh, you want to? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just Time Walk here. Yep. No, you JVP here. 
Yeah, you JVP here. You time walk next time after it attacks. No, he's gonna time walk. I think you JVP, and I don't know. Either way, I mean, I guess you're closer to flipping. If you time walk here, you can flip JVP easier. So. Yep. Uh, Cody's gonna yeah solitude. Yeah, we're doing about the solitude. Get rid of the ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What Cody doesn't know is that Mason's gonna be able to untap JVP Archon flashback. Right. Reanimate. Well, this Archon's gonna slow that roll a little bit. Because Mason doesn't know about that. Yeah. Well, the Archon's gonna add how much to that reanimate? It, uh, it's gonna. He only cast one spell a turn, so. Yeah, that's all he needs to do is cast the reanimate. He already has the reanimate. Oh, yeah. He, he flashes it back the right, reanimate. Right. Yeah. But what a creature is he hitting? He has the Archon in hand. Oh, okay. I they both have Archon. Oh, Mason. okay. That, that's what I didn't see. That's what I was. Sorry. Yeah. Alright, Archon. Yeah, for the love of God, don't put the jet into play. Do we have... Oh, look at that. Yeah, we... Alright. We got them built, man. Yeah. <laughs> we got them built. <laughs> Every flip card's got its little flippy flip. Alright. <laughs> My favorite part about reanimating Archon is that it immediately gains you three of the life back. Right, right. So, Archon of Cruelty... Such a ridiculous card. Like, yep. It ain't a cruel ultimatum, but it's pretty it close. It is pretty close. And it works. It, it It is worded in such a way that you can't even really cast Orcish Bowmasters into this for profit. Right. Because the, your opponent has to sacrifice a creature, discard a card, and lose three life. Then you draw a card and gain three life. So they have to choose to either discard the... to either sack the Bowmaster or the token. They don't get both sides of that card anymore. Yeah. And now you're just off with a 6-6. Six, six, six and yeah, Cody yep. says, that's yeah, enough of that. Yeah. Um, I think this is... The the reanimator package that Mason picked up, I think, is is great. Of like, kind of a read-the-room thing. I might have moved in more on reanimator because this is a slower format. You're mm -hmm. not going to have a lot of decks that have a lot of creatures on board. And once you land an Archon against a deck that only plays one or two creatures by the time you can get it out, you basically have won the game. So they're just doing the kind of uh, somewhat adapted St. Lotus unofficial rule okay. of uh, rather than have to spend the time to play each other's deck list, I just give them my fucking deck. <laughs> <laughs> and you look through it, and then you get to make your sideboard decision. Nice. <laughs> and then, so it's kind of become the like, like that. default St. Lotus like shortcut yep. of just like, you know what, like... I don't really want to like pull up the list and yeah, study yeah, it. Yeah. Why don't you just give me your deck? Yeah. And I'm going to look at it and go, okay, cool. And now I'll sideboard. Yeah, it's like you win game one against Doomsday. They yeah. Doomsday off against you and you're like, hold on. Yeah. Can I look at the cards you've exiled and you yeah. look for their sideboard cards? So that's why they pass each other their decks there. Yeah, y'all didn't see it. In the just, a shortcut, yeah. just, just a shortcut. Just a shortcut because they can look at deck lists, but they can't look at them during a game. They can only yep. look at them between. So that just uh, fixes the whole, like, I'm going to pull up the list, yada, yep. yada, yada. So it looks like Mason is sideboarding out the reanimation. Well, he's board. got, so Cody's got in his board. Oh, um, Cody's list. Cody's got Containment Priest. Yep. He's got... Doorkeeper Thrall, which shuts off. Uh, Archon. Right. And he also, main what? deck has. Um, well, we have Lion Sash and. Lion, oh, yeah, Lion Sash. He had Lion Sash in the yard. So he's got lots of hate. Yeah. So. With the Stoneforge Mystic in the main and the right. Lion Sash in the board, yeah. you have two shots at that, plus the Warren Piece. Yeah. Well, not Warren Piece. Rest in Peace just gets you. On top of. What else? You know, as you were saying, what do we have in the main? We have. No, I mean, yeah, a lot of exile in the main, but. Yeah, uh, Solitude yeah. is really the only thing that's going to get it. Yeah, so I think yeah. the Plunderer comes out here. For Cody, um, you got the Plunderer main. It comes out, but it's gonna be interesting because he, you know, so if I'm Cody and I look and see how many cards he's sideboarding. This is a game. Of, this is a game of chess, right? Like, and I look over and see how many cards he's sideboarding because Mason's not doing the whole pro smash your whole sideboard in and, then <laughs> and take everything out, out yeah. right? Uh, it's pretty hard to do in BRD. Yeah. Uh, I might think, well, is he siding out the reanimate package? Yep. And then do I bring them in? Because then if I'm bringing them in, am I bringing in dead cards? Now he still has thought case. They're not dead. He still has Snapcaster. He's boarding it from jump. Oh. The shadows on the sideboard for Mason. Interesting. Caustic Bronco. So this, yeah, then we sideboard. And if 
Nice. Like from formation, we sideboard into right. that more creature heavy version of the deck. Right. Okay. Okay. The only thing, so looking at Cody's list, the only thing I, I that stands out to me is we have a Dragon's Race Channeler in the main, but yeah. seven, ten, eleven ways to trigger it, which is not what you want. Right. These numbers are. Yeah, reversed. I don't like the Channeler. Uh, the Plunderer can come out, obviously, in this matchup. I would take out the Channeler and put in Lion's Ash because it's still a creature. Yeah, yeah, and it still gets bigger and yeah. still removes targets for um, Snapcaster and yeah. JVP. Yeah. So. Otherwise, that prismatic ending is not going to do. If you, it all depends on what you think. If you think Mason's going to sideboard into the more creature heavy version of the right. deck, si- uh, prismatic ending is a great card. If right. If you don't, then it's poo poo. Yeah, this is an interesting, interesting. Stra- you know, the, with the side out strategy, it's always, and then Cody can also just side in the grindstone painter and just have his own like you know. Yep. That's actually what I was thinking was if we wanted to bring that in and where, how we would squeeze it. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of ways to dig for it, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, he can dig for the painter a little bit with the once, but. Yeah, it does stop someone else from having it. I don't think. Yeah. I I think if you're gonna do one, you might as well do both, so you have the threat of bringing it in. Yeah. Because if you you can just do one and stop someone else, but then it's you're just stopping. Yeah. But. <coughs> one time I want to do a VRD where I know I'm gonna lose, but I'm just gonna take all these hate pieces, all these pieces of just other people's combos, and just like I'm taking Thoracle, and then I'm taking Grindstone, so, yeah, and then yeah. I'm taking, the, and I'm just gonna take one piece of everything. <laughs> See, I, see, I think shake I'm out. going 07. Yep. But no one's combo. I'm taking the rest of you down with me. <laughs> no one's combo. Yeah. You're all playing fair magic. Oh my god. <laughs> Today, there are no combos. What would you take from the reanimator deck? Would you take in Tomb? Uh, yeah, I'd take in Tomb. Okay. You know. The be- Either the best or the second best, depending on how you view Bizarre. I was already picked. It's just it's, you got to be all in on the reanimator. Once you're all in, then you're susceptible to the hate, right? Yep. So, it's our, you know, it wins big, but mm-hmm. I mean, what it's our uh, pick rate on bizarre? Oh, there you go. Five of thirty-two. Wow. St. Lotus nine. That was the last time this was it was picked. Yeah. Wow. Discord twenty seven. Someone, someone grabbed it. Round thirty nine, which is yeah, basically the end of the draft. Yeah. Frequently drafted with Entomb, Gristleburn, Reanimate makes sense. Animate dead, Exhum, and Dark Ritual, but not Dragon. Yep. Some people just like to watch the world burn. There you go. Cody's on the play. We're here for a good time, not a long time. All right, so we have... We got Layla, City of Ass. A much better card for this format. Yeah. Only taking half the damage. But you also produce half a mana? I don't know any un cards. Oh, I've okay. never played a game of un in my life. All right. <laughs> Luckier man than I, I've played a handful over two or three un formats. No Lotus start. I think Mason's in an odd spot where we have him and the only black source is this flooded strand. Yeah. He's got that Thought Scour in there. Yeah, but you don't want to mill over your grave and right. or... Like you have to fetch either grave JVP or... JVP subtly. Yeah. So you're going to have to fetch up either Watery Grave or Tomb. And if you want to cast... Uh, thought scour, then you really run the risk of milling over the other. Code is pondering here. He's gonna play a city. So Cody definitely has a number of two drops uh, available. Questing druid. Oh, lotus. Okay. Okay. Well, now we're in the party. Yeah. Um, now there is a subtlety. So whatever he goes, bi- if he goes big on something, he can get wrecked here. So. Well, the biggest thing. Cody could do from a creature standpoint is no, but he can Skyclave, do that. but he could, can, Cody can do that. subtly hit walkers? Uh, I, know, I think it's creatures and walkers. Sorry, creature spell or planeswalker yeah. spell. So first we fetch. I would assume for fetching we're probably also casting the Thought Scour. Probably, yeah. Okay. 
There's no reason to fetch here if we're not also casting a spell on top of it. Mason efficiently and well shuffling, yeah. you know, like a, a good magic player should. Okay, I think we're over shuffling at this point, but you know. <laughs> could be worse, he could have piled. He's got piles, that's what he told me earlier anyway. All right. Oh, we're exiling the Thought Scour. So we value the JVP mm -hmm. more than we do the Thought Scour. Okay. JVP is a more controlled mill. Yeah. Um, I just don't understand the fetch there. Unless he was taking the time to think and doing that one. Yeah. You know? Breeding pool, and now basically everything's online. Because we have the Hollow Fountain in hand. Mm-hmm. Except for, the, except for the him. Yeah, yeah, aside from the double pip spell right. of him to Turok, everything that we would want to cast is online. Ew. Break out. Break out, okay. Break out! All right. So we're going to look at the top six. Six or seven, something like that? It's six. It's basic. Uh, look at the top six cards of your library. You may uh, reveal a creature card from them. If it has good. mana value two or less... You may put it onto the battlefield, and it gains haste until end of turn. It's got a Ragavan, if for you, sure. Yep. If you didn't put the reveal card onto the battlefield this way, put it into your hand. Put the rest of on the bottom of your library in a random order. It's got a Ragavan and a Kavu, I'm pretty sure, in there, but the Kavu is only going to be too, too, too big at this point. Yep. So the Ragavan offers more value. <laughs> like, yeah, you're on shuffle. Just yeah. The six go on the bottom. Oh! All the work we were doing. All that work. How does it... There's a pulse now, so... Yeah, so we can take care of the rog on if we want. Yeah. You can also just draw and discard. And, yeah. You know, let's loot for the... Black source. Ooh, time, time walk. walk. <coughs> hmm. We probably haven't gotten to a point yet where him has lost its value. No, he still has a no, ton of he's cards still, in hand. Got a, but is it the worst of the cards in our hand? He's pitching. He just pitched the him though. So. Oh, he didn't. I. Hmm. Thought about thinking about time walking there. Yep. But we have the abrupt decay. Yeah. So you can still take care of the rock of that. Yeah. Our the thought scour is exiled, so all we the best thing we can do is really just flash back a removal spell or the right. time walk, but we're just spinning our wheels now for Mason. Ooh. Skyclave operation? Nope, Lelia. A blade reforged. Layla. Got me on Got my knees. Me. Alright, so we're going to decay that. Layla's going to trigger. That is a dryad. Of Elysian Grove. It's going to go nowhere. Yep, so we've lost that for the Kavu. How many lands is Cody running? 15 plus... The, yeah, it seems pretty, pretty light. I think he probably yeah. runs 16. He doesn't have dorks. Nope, 15 plus the Cody lands. skips on his mana base. But he also has the Once Upon a Time. Still, I think he runs 16. 16? Like, yeah. He's had two games where he's seen his lands seemed, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Like, he doesn't have dorks, right? He's got nothing really that's Cut speeding the up outside the Lotus. Cut the channel for a land? Yeah. All right, so we drew and discarded the IOK to Jace. Yeah. Cast the thoughts. Cast the time walk? Nope. Oh, we have library. This is a, not a good spot for that card. But. Yeah, he's going to hit and decay the Layla now. Mm-hmm. Time walk. We can cast that hint of Turok. <laughs> no, Cody is not empty handed. No. There's still the Maelstrom Pulse yeah, with so flashbacks. Okay. We're gonna quest away. We got a Jetmere's Garden and a Nissa. Now, this quest is till next turn. That is correct. So, Until the if end he draws next... another land, he can Nissa next time. Mm hmm. 
Or was it until the end of your end step? No, the next it's next turn on that one, I'm pretty sure. Until, oh, until your next end step. Ah, okay. Oh, your next end step. Okay, yeah, so it's you, an instant. That's right. Okay. Correct, that's why. That's what happens. Okay. Play, you're usually play it on the opponent's turn. Right. Yeah, big fairies. Nah, it's going to lock that up pretty hard, I think. And there's a Tesheri Tide Binder in hand, so. Yep. That's pretty brutal. Two key top decks, one after another for Mason, combined with the yeah. Maelstrom Pulse with Flashback. Yeah. So this is a point where you would get one Nissa activation, and that's about it. Yeah, I think... I've seen Cody pull out of rougher stuff, but I don't know if he's pulling out of this one. I just don't think his deck has enough reach to pull out of this one. Like... Cody, yeah, Cody's deck doesn't go wide. It's just it's one for ones. Yeah, he had that crazy game last time where the guy wouldn't scoop, but he won it anyway because he ended up decking him out because mm -hmm. he misplayed the guy kept misplaying the Emrakul. Yeah, oh and, yeah. Uh, but in this case, I just don't see. Yeah, we're gonna hem here. Most likely. We can also just time walk, yeah. Yep. There's the time walk. She eggs eye on the time walk. Yeah. Yep, there we go. No, was that a, no, was that a round one time walk or no, did he go That's the second time round? No, the round one, the uh, pick. Oh the pick, I think it was uh Round two, I think. No, he had um uh, I got it, I got it. Go back to the sheet. Put it back. Okay. Uh, gameplay. Oh, gameplay. I got okay. it. Did we get rid of it? Oh, we might have got rid of it. Oh, no. Here it is. It was up already. Okay. Uh, Jet, time walk, thought sees. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. he was in uh, six. Yeah. Draw the thoughts. He's cast the thoughts. He's good fourth of your lingus. Troll of cause of dune. I think that was the draw. Yeah, we're gonna shrink make that thing out shrink of existence, that. basically. Teferi's pushing ultimate <laughs> level. What is the ultimate on that Teferi? Uh, when you cast a, when you draw a card, you exile a permanent. You get an emblem list. Yeah. Whenever you draw a card, exile target permanent and opponent controls. It costs eight. Yeah. Yep, so we just hard cast Troll of Khazad Dune. Yeah. He's going to once upon a time. He's going to reveal that solitude. <laughs> Most likely. I don't know if it matters. I mean, it's the only thing that, can, that extends the game here. Right. What is that card in the in the middle of a Mason's hand? Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, there's a Trophy, okay. Tide Binder, Vindicate. Yep. No, no, Mason's no, Pulse. Yeah. To have the two lands from Teferi. Yeah. Pass turn. Let's see. I would assume Cody has the white spell. To I know exactly he does him. actually. His hand's kind of been hit. Like. Hmm. It's Lurus. Ah. Okay. Why not exile the solitude? Trigger the druid. I mean, he's at sixteen, so at this point he's trigger like, the dryad, or druid, whatever it is. Yeah. Dink. I mean, he's at sixteen. He probably doesn't. He did, he can take a troll hit right at this point. Oh, for yeah. sure. Mason can cast Pulse. He can trophy. Yep. Well, right, right now, Mason also has six mana available. Right. He could do it all next turn, too. He doesn't have to do it on Cody's turn. 
So we know the solitude's lurking. So this is basically Cody buying time, right? Yeah, no. Yeah. Dan Rocket two zero right now. Nice. Yeah, so get rid of Lurus. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets a basic, which does. Um... Which turns on the solitude. Right. But you can counter the trigger with Deshaun's Tidebinder. Right. Uh, so Dan Rock and a 2-0. He took down Jacob. So. I don't know if Mason is drawn for turn yet or not. I don't think so. Okay. Chunk. No, I guess he has. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yep. Yeah. To the face. Yep, you can't block troll. It has menace plus one. Right. Troll to the face. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you casting for two? Snapcaster mage. Targeting. Him. Oh. Solitude in response. Pitching prismatic. Yep. The shot of sidebinder. Counter your trigger. Counter the correct trigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 ETB exile yeah. trigger. <coughs> yeah, the, the A plus B, I mean, that's what you were talking about earlier. Like, it, you know, that deck can definitely do it, but you've got to get threats and uh, the flashy slash show and tell slash other pieces together. Yep. You go. Yeah, you're, you're very. I think that deck, no matter what, it wants blue because it just needs that card draw. Like I think the show and tell needs yep. blue. Anything or, to churn, yeah. like that deck just you're. You just need to yeah churn. It's a good so word. yeah, subject to the whims of the top of your deck. Yeah. In that, so Silver Library is perfect. Yeah. Uh, for that, but that was taken. So. Ugh. Sir. Oh man, this is not going well for Cody in this one. He's, uh... <laughs> no, I think that this is it for yeah. Cody. He's either either on his last turn or yeah. kind of considering his last turn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I said it feels. I don't know. I feel like his deck is a land short. I feel like he needed sixteen. Yep. Um, so Cody cannot block the troll. He's going to go to three. And he's like, I, I had all these. And uh, yep. <laughs> Cody, I think Cody asked for the all these. Show. And he's like, show me what you got, I scoop. Yeah. Yep. He scooped it up. So. Uh, 